on my name, yeah, yeah. you all on my lane, hey, yeah. you ain't overlooked, yeah, yeah. so get out the way, hey, yeah. I gave you the book, what, what? I gave you the game, yeah. the boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. the boy got a flame, yeah. serving in the kitchen like you need no, plenty bitchin' whipping different flavors like a bistro, kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a seed no. switch it, keep it pimping every single place that he go, I got it, Nathan got the flame, Nathan got the flame, boy you know the name, get up out the way, Nathan got the flame, Nathan got the flame Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Nathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man What's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to my channel Now, today, we got our steelhead trout That we're gonna roast off in the oven So we're gonna get together a little mixture So first, I got going in a tablespoon of granulated garlic followed by a tablespoon of granulated onion. Then I got about two teaspoons of paprika, and that's just regular paprika. But if you got smoked paprika, that'll work as well. Then we follow that with some cumin. And with the cumin, I got about two tablespoons of that as well. Um, you can go a little heavier, a little less, it's up to you, pretty much your preference. Then we're gonna roll with about a teaspoon and a half of chili powder. And that's just regular old chili powder. I think that's organic chili powder, but it doesn't have to be organic. Then we got some Slap Your Mama. Now, this and the sachets is going to be our only salt in this recipe. So I'm gonna go about two table. I mean, two teaspoons each um, with those two. Um, but be mindful of the salt in those um, because we're gonna use our pico de gallo and our guacamole later, and that's gonna provide. Um, that salt flavor um, to the fish as well because we're going to salt those so once we got our um, dry mixture combined just set it aside and we're going to get our steelhead trout and we're going to pat it dry uh, you want this thing to be completely dry and I'm showing you a binder that the skin is still attacked and don't worry about taking the skin off because that skin is going to adhere to that foil and uh, it's going to make the flesh just come off of the skin so you don't have to worry about the skin being on and I just went on with about two tablespoons of olive oil and that's good quality olive oil. And I'm doing that just so, it's almost like my glue, just so the seasonings can have something to adhere to. So once you get all that olive oil rubbed in, we're gonna go on with our seasonings. And like I said, this is like a dry rub. Uh, we do have some salt in there from the sachets as well as to slap your mama, but it's not that much salt. So you can kind of go heavy. Um, because it's more um, herbs and spices, well, more spices um, than salt, so kind of go heavy. And this is inspired by um, Tex Mex, so this is going to be like a Tex Mex style steelhead trout, so that's where the flavor um, combination came from. So once you get all that seasoning on there, that good seasoning, you want to kind of pat it in there, and you just see me patting it. And once you get that seasoning patted in there, uh, what what you want to do is just let it hang out and let that seasoning kind of adhere um, to the steelhead try you're gonna see it get almost like pasty on there and that's what you want to see because you know that's gonna stay on there so next we're gonna get our pico de gallo started if you want to see an in-depth video on me making pico de gallo you can check out my Casey deal burger video um, there I showed you step by step and actually went into detail about um, making pico de gallo here I'm just um, getting rid of the insides which is the seeds and I want the flesh and the skin uh, with the uh, on the tomatoes um, and I do that because I don't want the pico de gallo to become very uh, watery so I'm take I took the seeds out so that's what I did there and from there I went ahead um, and began to cut up my bell pepper it's not much because this is just going to be like a almost like a, a not a garnish but a condiment when it comes to the fish and the bowl it's just going to be like a condiment for the bowl so uh, we don't need much pico de gallo you're, you're going to see with the um, guacamole we're only going to use two avocados so you know very small amount but a little goes a long way so you see i got the um bell pepper in there and then also got some garlic in there i'm gonna dice up an onion not much though like i said we're only making a small portion of it we're gonna get that onion in there and then we're gonna season with salt some people put 
Um, cracked black pepper and that pico de gallo. I don't, I don't think we need it. And also I season with a little salt. Add some cilantro. You know, what's pico without cilantro? You can't make pico without cilantro. That's just my opinion. So we're going in with the cilantro. And then from the cilantro, we're gonna go in with a good squeeze of lime. And make sure you squeeze that lime in there because you need that acidic note. And that lime is what's gonna balance out that salt as well as make that pico de gallo very flavorful so you can't miss that step that's like a very important step in my opinion when it comes to making pico de gallo so we're gonna get that pico de gallo all mixed up and then we're gonna start on that guacamole like i said earlier we only got two avocados um and that's gonna be a good amount of guacamole um so you see me taking out that nut out of that avocado or that seed whatever you prefer to call it um and this step right here i'm just slicing the avocado but be careful because it's a thing called avocado hand and that's where people use sharp knives and they slice through the flesh of the avocado and the knife end up going through the skin i mean through the peel of the avocado and slicing their hand and they call it avocado hand so just be careful with that if you have to set it down on the counter and um cut it if you feel like your knives are very sharp and you don't want to risk cutting yourself so that's just a little tip then i went in with a little salt um just to season the avocado up and i went in with a dollop of mayo now you could omit that mayo or you can add sour cream but i just feel like that mayo give me an extra creamy factor um that i like um when it comes to the guacamole it's a great mouth feel so but like i said if you don't like mayo and your guacamole leave it out you can just use straight avocados here you see i went in with a splash of lime and this is the little trick i always use um because i like my to i like tomatoes and guacamole a lot of people don't but i do so i always take the pico de gallo and add some in there and then you also see me take some of that good salty liquid good salty lime liquid from that pico de gallo and add it into my guacamole and what's that gonna do is help the uh, guacamole from um changing colors um it's more acid but it's going to give us some great flavors as well so this this pair here guacamole and pico de gallo that's going to be a fantastic pair same flavor element so it's going to be terrific um so great addition to the bowl and then i got the steel head tried out uh, i just touched the center just to make sure um it was good i got some good spring back action so it's cooked perfectly and i'm gonna go on with a good splash of lime on that as well i mean it's tex mix you can't get away from the lime it's just it give you that fiesta feeling so there you have it and we're gonna go ahead and get this bowl situated so there i just have some good old lime rice i was gonna make cilantro lime rice but i got plenty of cilantro inside of my pico de gallo so i didn't need cilantro in there so it's lime rice that i'm going over with some steelhead trout that beautiful steelhead trout then we're gonna go over with some pico de gallo that lovely pico and i'm sorry the camera's out of focus but that is what it is then we got our delicious guacamole back there then we're gonna give us a little a little splash of some hot salsa and I i'm gonna link a video about making salsas uh where whether it's um tomatillo salsa or regular old, um salsa so i'm gonna do a tutorial on those but from the salsa we went on with a dollop of sour cream and then you know i like to break the rules i like fish and cheese so i went over with a good spread of queso in front of queso i went back over with some more of that uh, salsa because i just want to see that red pop through that white but there you have it the most delicious incredible bowl that's a steelhead trout fiesta bowl thank you for checking this video out like comment share subscribe i'm out